are going to use the matrix inverse method to find the solution of a, a system of linear equations. In other words, we shall use the matrix inverse method to solve a 2 by 2 linear system. Uh, this is part 1 of it. Please, before you view this video, it is recommended that you view the videos on a inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix and also the uh, multiplication of matrices. The prerequisite videos to this video uh, are uh, multiplication of matrices and uh, inverse of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, let us uh, look at the matrix inverse method. Uh, let us see what it is about. Uh, you know, the matrix inverse method stems from the idea that uh, a matrix times the inverse, a matrix times the inverse of the matrix will give you an identity matrix. Uh, we, we have discussed it before. Uh, a times A inverse, it, it is the same thing as A inverse times A, which is equal to the, an identity matrix. So this is the principle on which the matrix inverse method is based. It is based on this principle, that a, the, the, the product of a matrix and its inverse is the same thing as the product of the inverse of the matrix and the matrix, which is the same thing as an identity matrix. So this is the principle by which it is based. So, uh, assuming, you know, we, when we look at the matrix inverse method, uh, uh, let's say that uh, we have uh, something like uh, A, uh, AX to be B. Assuming we have something like this equation, and I'm going, we are going to explain what this means when we start solving uh, questions. So let's say you have the matrix of the coefficients here, and uh, A is the matrix of coefficient, uh, X is the matrix of the variable, and B is the matrix of the result, the result matrix. Uh, A is the matrix of a coefficients, coefficients, that is A, X, uppercase X, uppercase X is the matrix of uh, the variables, matrix of the variables, and the uh, uppercase B is the matrix of the results. So when you have this, then what you have to do is you uh, multiply, you pre-multiply, pre-multiply both sides. Pre-multiply, we have what we call pre-multiply and post-multiply. Pre-multiplication, pre, 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 prefix, pre, 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 pre and post, post. Pre-multiplication and post-multiplication. Pre-multiplication, multiplication, and post-multiplication. Now, we are not interested in the post-multiplication. We are interested in the pre-multiplication. This is all we are interested in. So, you pre-multiply both sides by the uh, inverse of A. You pre-multiply both sides by the inverse of A. Okay, from here, pre-multiply, pre-multiply both sides by A inverse. So when you do that, this is what you're gonna get. A inverse times A times X because this means A times X. This means A times X. So A inverse times A times X is equal to A inverse times B. 
right? So you now see that A inverse times A, which we have, we, 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 we discussed this on an inverse, uh, inverse of matrix. You need to view those videos. So A inverse of A is an identity matrix. So I times X will give you A inverse times B. You see that? I times X will now give you A inverse times B. Pre-multiplication by A inverse. Now, I times X, of course, will give you X because if you multiply any matrix by the identity, by an identity matrix, it still gives you that matrix. Remember, identity matrix is just once along the principal diagonal and every other thing is zero. So this gives you X still which is now A inverse times B. So this is the uh, formula here. This is the formula here that we need. That is what we need here to find the matrix of the variables. Because when we are asked to uh, solve a linear system, that means they are asking us to find the values of the variables. That is what it means. So when we get this, we can then get the values of the variables. That is what it means. All right. Now, let's go to steps. Steps in using the matrix inverse method. Steps in using the matrix inverse method. Uh, please, in this video, we are just concerned with two by two matrix. We have four questions that we will solve and uh, check. You know one thing I like about the uh, linear systems, linear the system of linear equations. Do you know one thing I like about it? Ask me. Ask me something I like about it. You can easily know whether you are getting it right or wrong. By doing what? Check. Okay, so whatever values we get as x and y, we will know whether we are right or wrong by checking. That is the nice thing about it. Steps in using the matrix inverse method. So the first thing you actually want to do is to, uh, you want to simplify each equation as necessary. Because you don't want to work with big, big numbers. I mean, so it's good if you can simplify. If the equation can be simplified, go ahead and simplify it. Okay? Simplify each equation as necessary necessary that's the first step the second step uh, make sure that you uh, align align the variables okay align the variables align the variables make sure you align the variables in each equation in, your, uh, in the equations align the variables and the results in the equation and the uh, results in the equations. That's step two. Step three, uh, after you align the variables, you want to make sure that uh, if something is missing, if any variable is missing, if it is incomplete, you complete it. Okay? If any variable is missing, that means if the equation, if any equation is incomplete, you complete it. If any equation is incomplete, what I mean is, what, what I mean by incomplete is, uh, if any variable is missing, if any variable is missing, Okay? Complete it. Complete it. You know, if, if, you can complete it by assigning a zero coefficient. Like you see in question four, in question four in equation two, equation two of question four, can you tell me what is missing there? Huh? Can you tell me what is missing in uh, equation two of uh, question four? You see, x is missing. So, remember, you are asked to use matrix inverse method. 
So you are not asked to use substitution method. You have to use matrix inverse method. And when you come to a question like this, whereby a variable is missing, you've got to complete it. So we put 0x. We complete it by putting 0x plus y equal to negative 4. The number 4, you now uh, use the formula. Okay? Use the uh, matrix inverse formula. Matrix inverse formula. And what is the formula? That the x is equal to a inverse times b. Remember, uh, our a is the matrix of coefficients. Our uppercase x, our uppercase a is the matrix of coefficients. Our uppercase x is the matrix of variables. And our uppercase b is the matrix of the results on the right hand side. Right? So these are the four steps. Then you can check your solution. Check your solution. Check your solution. So five steps. Check your solution. All right, folks. We've talked English. Let's do some now. Question one. 3x plus 4y equal to 13 and then 2x minus 3y equal to negative 14. So this is equation 1, this is equation 2. We see that then 3, 4, 13, we can simplify it. You know, simplify each equation as necessary. 3, 4, 13, can we simplify it now? There are no common factors. 2, negative 3, negative 14. Okay? They don't have a common factor. So, we can't simplify it. So, step one is gone. Then step two, align x and y. So, x, x, y, y. Result, result. So, we're good. We're good on step two. Then, step, uh, step three, nothing is missing. No variable is missing. Variables are complete, so that's fine. Step four, let's now use the matrix inverse method. So, A is the matrix of coefficients. So we have 3, 2, 4, negative 3. Then x is the matrix of the variables. So we have x and y. Then b is the matrix of the results. So we have 13 and negative 14. That is all we got. Matrix of the results. All right. Now, uh, remember, this is our formula here. Let me write it. Let me write it here. A inverse times B. So let's go ahead and find A inverse. And I prefer using the row reduction method. So if we use the row reduction method, what we got? Uh, 3, 2, 4, negative 3, 1, 0, 0, 1. I prefer using this method. Uh, so we, what operation do we use? Uh, this is a negative. 2R1 plus 3R2. So what do we have? Uh, we have 3, 4, 1, 0. Um, then here, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Negative 8. Negative 8 uh, minus 9. Minus 8 minus 9 is minus 17. Uh, negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. Then 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3. Okay? Then we apply another operation here. Uh, this and this. So this will be what? Uh, uh, we are using row 2 to operate now on row 1. So this will be 4 row 2 plus 17 row 1. You see that? Please, we have done this thing inverse of matrix, row reduction method. Yeah. Now, you can use the formula method if you want to, but I, I, I prefer using row reduction. It saves me time. So this will be, um, row 2 is unchanged, 0, negative 17, negative 2, 3. Then row 1, 4 times 0, 0 plus 17 times 3 is um, uh, 51. 
Then uh, negative 68. Negative 68 plus 68 is 0. Uh, negative 8. 4 times negative 2, negative 8 plus 17. 17 minus 8 is 9. Uh, then 4 times 3, 12 plus 0 is 12. Alright, so what do we do now? Uh, R1 over 51 and then negative R2 over 17. Right? So what we got now, this gives us a uh, uh, 1, 0, and 9 over 51, 12 over 51, and this gives us 0, negative, negative 17, this is 1, uh, negative, negative 2, 2 over 17, and uh, negative 3 over 17. So our A inverse is going to be what, folks? Our A inverse will be 9 over 51, by row, 12 over 51, 2 over 17, negative 3 over 17. And that will give us, let's simplify it, uh, this will be uh, 3 over 17, this is 4 over 17, 2 over 17, and then negative 3, negative 3 over 17. All right. Uh, the next thing we have to do is to find this. We use this formula. X is A inverse times B. Our X is what? X, Y uh, equal to... That reminds me. Another video you need to view is equality of matrices. Equality of matrices. I just noticed that now. That is another video you need to view. So we have... Uh, multiplication of matrices, inverse of matrices, and equality of matrices. So this will be uh, A inverse is 3 over 17, 4 over 17, 2 over 17, negative 3 over 17, right? Times B is 13 and negative 14. Now, let's check whether they are conformable for multiplication. Let us check whether they are conformable for multiplication. This is a 2 by 2, and this is what? 2 by 1. So, number of columns of this is equal to number of rows of this. So, they are conformable for multiplication. What will be the size of the product? 2 by 1. 2 by 1. So let's multiply it. This will be what? What is it going to be? Uh, 3 over 17 times 13 plus 4 over 17 times negative 14. Uh, and this will be 2 over 17 times 13 plus negative 3 over 17 times negative 14. So what do we have here? What do we have? Uh, 3 times 13 is what? 39 over 17 minus 56 over 17. And uh, 26 over 17 minus minus. Minus times minus is plus. Plus 42 over 17. So what do we have? 39 minus 56 is a minus, 16 minus 9 is 7, 4 minus 3 1, minus 17 over 17, um, and this will be what, uh, 68, 68 over 17. So this will give us what now, negative 1 and what, 4. So what does this tell you? This tells us what, what does this tell us? Okay, what does this tell us here? Let's write it here. So you have that uh, x, y is equal to x, y is equal to negative 1, 4. So that tells us that x is negative 1 and then y is 4. 
and that's the answer. X is negative 1, Y is 4. Alright, the next thing to do what is to what? Check your work. Check your work. So, let's quickly check this. Check, it must work for the two equations. Must. It must work for both equations. We write equation 1, 3x plus 4y equal to 13. Left hand side, right hand side. And this is 3x plus 4y. This is 13. So this is 3 times negative 1 plus 4 times 4. So this is negative 3 plus 16. And that is 13. 13 on the left, 13 on the right. You can drink some water. Not beer. Don't drink beer. Water. You drink water. But hey, don't drink a full glass of water. Just drink half glass. So let's check the other one. If it works for the other half, other equation, then you drink the other half. <laughs> and this is 2x minus 3y equal to negative 14. Left hand side, right hand side. Right hand side is negative 14. Left hand is 2x minus 3y. So we have 2 times uh, negative 1 minus 3 times 4. So this is negative 2 minus 12, which is negative 14. Negative 14 on the left, negative 14 on the right. You can now drink the other half of water, the other half glass. All right, folks. Let's do number two. Question two. 4x plus y equal to negative 2. This is equation 1. And then 3y equal to 2x plus 8. All right. First step. First step, simplify each equation as necessary. 4, 1, 2, 1. No, we can't simplify. No common factors. Excuse me. Uh, 3, 2, 8. No common factors. Okay, except 1. What is the, what is the factor of everything anyway? So, but when I mean no common factors, I mean, I mean the size 1. The size 1. All right. Uh, and we don't want fractions. We don't want fractions, no. If you are giving fractions, just multiply by the LCD, okay, so that you clear out the fractions. Yeah, view my videos on uh, fractional equations. If you come across fractions or linear systems, don't panic. View my videos on fractional equations. All you need to do is multiply the, uh, the, uh, the uh, fractions by the LCD. Multiply each term by the LCD to clear out the fractions. All right, uh, uh, the next step, align x and y. So this is not aligned. Uh, do, do, do you see? Uh, it, it, equation 1 is aligned, but equation 2 is not aligned. So let's align it. Align it, align. Uh, 4x plus y will be negative 2, equation 1. Now if this guy comes over here, this is negative 2x plus 3y equal to 8. Now it is aligned. Now it is aligned. Right? And it is complete. So let's get started. Uh, matrix A will be uh, 4, negative 2, 1, 3. Uh, matrix X will be X, Y. And then B, matrix B will be negative 2, 8. Negative 2, 8. Right? 4, negative 2, 1, 3. X, Y, negative 2, 8. So let's go ahead and find the A inverse. 4, negative 2, 1, 3. As usual, I am using the rule reduction method. Uh, so if I apply the rule operation here, this will be and R1 plus 2R2. So this will be 4, 1, 1, 0. Uh, 4 minus 4 is 0. 1 plus 6 is 7. 
1 plus 0 is 1. 0 plus 2 is 2. I apply another operation here. 7 and 1. This is negative R2 plus 7 R1. This will give me what? 0, 7, R2 is unchanged. 1, 2. And then I have here negative 0 plus 7 times 4 is 28. Uh, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. Negative 1 plus negative 1 plus 7 is what? 6. Right? Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. Then negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. Negative 2. Then I now have R1 divided by 28 and R2 divided by 7. Right? So what do I have here, folks? I now have uh, 1, 0, uh, 6 over 28. Uh, negative 2 over 28. Then I have here 0, 1, 1 over 7, and then 2 over 7. Right? So what is our A inverse? A inverse will be uh, 6 over 28, 1 over 7 by column, negative 2 over 28. 2 over 7. So this will give me what now? What will it give me? Uh, 3 over what? 14, right? 2 divided 6 is 3. 2 divided 28 is 14. Uh, negative 1 over 14. 1 over 7. And then 2 over 7. So this is my A box here. Now, what is the next thing I do? I apply this formula. X is equal to A inverse times B. Of course, this will always be conformable, right? It will always be conformable. Once you do it right, it will always be conformable. Once you do it right. So this means that XY is equal to 3 over 14, negative 1 over 14, 1 over 7, 2 over 7, times... What is our B? Negative 2 and then 8. So this gives us what? Uh, 3 over 14 times negative 2 plus negative 1 over 14 times 8. Then we have 1 over 7 times negative 2 plus 2 over 7 times 8. Right? So what do we have now? What do we have? Uh, we have a negative 6 over 14 minus 8 over 14. And uh, we have a negative 2 over 7 uh, plus 16 over 7. So this gives us what? Negative 14 over 14 and then 14 over 7. See that? This will be what? Negative 1 and what? 2. So this shows that what? X is what? X is negative 1. Y is what? 2. And you can kind of write it like this if you want to. Negative 1 and 2. No. X, Y coordinate. Right? Do you stop here? No. What do you do? Check. Now, if we check this, if we check it, what do we have if we check it? Folks, what do we have if we check? We write check. Uh, first equation. Now, if you are checking, check from what? The main equation. We've discussed this in previous videos. When you want to check your work, Please do not check from the modified equation, no. Check from the main equation. Now, why would you not check from the modified equation? Why? Do you know why? Because the modified equation might be wrong. Yes, this can be wrong. It can be.
So when you want to check, check from the main equation. So we use this first equation, 4x plus y equal to negative 2, left-hand side, right-hand side. Left-hand side is 4x plus y, right-hand side is negative 2. So this is 4 times uh, x is negative 1 plus 2. So negative 4 plus 2. This is negative 2. Yay! Now, don't ask too much. You just dance a little. Okay? Then you check the next one. 3y equal to 2x plus 8. Left-hand side. Right-hand side. This is 3y. This is 2x plus 8. Uh, this is a 3 times... 2, which is 6, and this is 2 times negative 1 plus 8, which is negative 2 plus 8, which is 6. And then, you know that? You know, you know that's Yeah, now you got me right. Okay? Question 3. Question 3. 3x minus y is equal to 2, 2x plus 4y is equal to 6. So we have equation 1 and equation 2. Equation 1, step, step 1, simplify as necessary. 3 minus 1, 2, no, we can't simplify further. But 2, 4, 6, we can simplify. I mean, <coughs> You might decide not to simplify. That's okay. You will still get the answer right. And when we solve this, we will check with our main equation. But if you just want to deal with simple numbers, you know, assuming you are not using a calculator to do it, you're not using, because you can do this with a calculator. Now, assuming you're not using a calculator to do it, okay? So, why don't you just simplify your work? Because this is an equation. So whatever you do to the left-hand side, you can also do to the right-hand side because it is equation, equality, equation. So let's, we have to simplify. Uh, of course, the uh, first one, we can simplify it, we write it that way. But the second one, right, we divide both sides by 2. So this will be x plus 2y equal to 3. Provided that what you do to the left hand side, you also have to do it to the right hand side. So that will be x plus 2y equal to 3. And don't worry, we will still check it with the main equation. So uh, A will be what? Matrix A will be 3, 1, negative 1, 2, uh, negative 1, 2. Then matrix X will be x, y. And then matrix B will be 2, 3. You see that? All right, folks. What do we do? Let's uh, get the A inverse. So this is 3, 1, negative 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, what operation do I use here? Uh, R1. Negative R1 plus 3R2. Negative R1 plus 3R2. So this will be 3, negative 1, 1, 0. Right? And then negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Right? Negative, negative 1 is 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. Uh, negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1. Uh, 0 plus 3 is 3. Now, we, are, we have to apply another operation, uh, and that will be uh, R2 plus 7R1. R2 plus 7R1. So, R2 is not changed. We leave it. As it is, um, 0 plus 21 is 21, 7 minus 7 
is 0. Negative 1 plus 7. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. 3 plus 0 is 3. 3 plus 0 is 3. So what do we do now, folks? R1 divided by 21, and then R2 divided by 7. See that? Now, that gives us uh, 1, 0, 6 over 21, 3 over 21. And on row 2, it will be 0, 1, negative 1 over 7, and then 3 over 7. So this means that our A inverse will be 6 over 21, negative 1 over 7 by column, then 3 over 21, 3 over 7. Now let's simplify the fractions. So this will be what? A inverse will be uh, 3 into 6, 2 over 7, 1 over 7, negative 1 over 7, 3 over 7. Right? 2 by 2 matrix. All right. Then we find our x. x is equal to A inverse times B. So this means that xy is equal to A inverse is a 2 over 7, 1 over 7 by row, negative 1 over 7, 3 over 7, times um, B is 2, 3. And what would this give us, row by column? 2 over 7 times 2 plus 1 over 7 times 3. Right? Uh, then negative 1 over 7 times 2 plus 3 over 7 times 3. Right? See that? So this will be uh, 4 over 7 plus 3 over 7. And this will be negative 2 over 7 plus 9 over 7. And this gives us what? 7 over 7 and then 7 over 7. And this will be 1, 1. So x, y will be 1, 1. x is 1, y is 1. What do we do next? We check. And uh, let's, let's kind of erase here so that we can have space to check. When we check, what do we do? Do we use the main equation or do we use the modified equation? We have to use the main equation. Which is this. So this will be 3x minus y is equal to 2 and it has to work for both of them. If it works for one, does not work for the other, no. So uh, left hand side, right hand side. This is 3x minus y and this is 2. Uh, this is 3 times 1 minus 1. 3 minus 1. 2, 2. We need to touch this ceiling. But we wouldn't just jump all the way. We just jump half. Boom. Because we need to check the other one. Then this is 2x plus 4y equal to 6. So left hand side, right hand side, uh, this will be 2x plus 4y, this is 6. So this is 2 times 1 plus 4 times 1. 2 plus 4, 6. Boom! We now jump full and touch the seven. 6, 6, yeah. Then we jump and touch the seven. Okay? So, even if you did not simplify this and you solve it with the main equation, you will still get the same answer, 1, 1, if you, do, if you did it properly. All right, last but not the least, question four. Question four, x plus two y is equal to negative one. Y is equal to negative four. I mean, you look at this, you just want to use what method. 
What method would you want to use to just solve this substitution? You already know that y is negative 4, so why are you wasting time trying to go through matrix inverse method? But you have to do what your professor says you should do. If your professor says you should use matrix inverse method, you've got to use it. So, uh, we check the first step. Simplify as possible, as necessary. 1, 2, negative 1, no. We're not gonna, we can't simplify it. Uh, y equals negative 4, no, we can't simplify it. 1 and negative 4, we cannot. Then, Align x and y, right? x is missing anyway, so that takes us to 3. If it's missing, do what? Complete it. Okay, complete it. So, complete it, complete it, and align. Complete it and align. So, this gives us x plus 2y equal to negative 1, that's right. And we are missing x here, so we put 0x plus y equal to negative 4. We just have to do it. If we are to use this method, we've got to make sure that everything is complete. You can't solve it with something, a variable missing, it is incomplete. No, you cannot solve it. You have to solve it when it is complete and when you are aligning. So now, what is our A? Our A will be matrix 1, 0, 2, 1. Our X will be uppercase X, matrix of X and Y, and our B will be uh, negative 1 and negative 4. Alright, we already know that Y is negative 4, so that will give you a clue. So, the next thing we do is what? Let's uh, find the index of A. 1, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. Okay, we have this. We have a uh, this cut out for us. Okay, we have this is good. Uh, so this is good. So the guy we need to make is this to be zero. That's what we need to make. So this will be what? Uh, negative two R two plus R one. Uh, R two will remain unchanged. You write it. Then. 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Right? Uh, 0 plus 1 is 1. Negative 2 plus 0 is negative 2. Right? So this is 1, 0, 0, 1. So what is our A inverse? We have that our A inverse is what? 1, 0, negative 2, 1. This is our A inverse here. Our A inverse. Now what do we do? X is equal to A inverse times B. So X, Y is equal to 1, 0, negative 2, 1 times uh, B is a negative 1, negative 4. So this will give us what now? Row by column, 1 times negative 1 plus negative 2 times negative 4. Then 0 times negative 1 plus 1 times negative 4. And this gives us what? Negative 1 plus 8. Negative 1 plus 8, right? And this is a 0 uh, minus 4. So this gives us what? 7 and negative 4. So xy, xy will be 7, negative 4. x is 7, y is negative 4. So you still get to that, that y is negative 4. Okay? What do we do next? Do we stop here? No. We have to do what? Check our work. Uh, I will need some space here so that I can check my work. You know, when you solve mine and you get it right, you know, you tend to rejoice, you know. 
but don't go start drinking. Okay, now uh, x plus 2y is equal to negative. We have to check from the main equation. Left hand side, right hand side. So this is x plus 2y, and this is negative 1. x is a 7 plus 2 times negative 4. So this is 7 minus 8, minus 1, minus 1. I think uh, who inspired the Let's Move campaign? Let's move so that we can bust on that. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Why is negative 4? Of course, what is negative 4? Left hand side, right hand side. 